You know, for centuries, most of us figured we had the solar system's layout down. Pat, Mercury, Venus, all the way out to the big icy giant Neptune. We learned the mnemonics in school. We built those styrofoam models for science class. And we basically accepted the map of our cosmic neighborhood is complete. But what if I told you that map is wrong? What if there's compelling new evidence that our picture is missing a key player and a massive, mysterious world has been hiding out in the shadows this whole time? Well, get ready, because scientists have just found a bizarre new object out there, nicknamed Ammonite. It's ancient. Looping orbit is forcing us to rethink everything we thought we knew about the edge of our cosmic backyard. This thing isn't just another rock. It's a cosmic fossil. A time capsule from the birth of our solar system that is challenging one of the biggest astronomical theories of our time. The existence of the long-sought Planet Nine. The Gathering Storm. A trail of orbital clues to get why this new discovery is such a big deal. We have to go back to the early 2000s. Astronomers were pushing our best telescopes to their limits, peering into that dark, frozen void beyond Neptune called the Kuiper Belt. And that's when things started getting weird. In 2003, they found Sedna, an object now widely considered to be a dwarf planet with a truly bizarre orbit. It was wildly stretched out, taking it incredibly far from the sun before swinging back in, but crucially, it never got close enough for Neptune's gravity to be the culprit. Think of a tether ball that is somehow swinging in a huge arc without a pole in the center. It just didn't make sense. And pretty soon, Sedna wasn't alone. Over the next decade, more of these extreme trans-Neptunian objects, or ETNOs, popped up, and a strange pattern started to emerge. It wasn't just that their orbits were weird. They were weird in the same way. They were clustered together all pointing in roughly the same direction and tilted at a similar angle, almost like they were being herded by some invisible sheepdog. This was a huge red flag. In the vastness of space, you'd expect orbits like these to be random. Finding them all grouped together was like walking into a forest and seeing all the trees leaning in the same direction. It defied probability. Something had to be out there pushing them around and shaping their paths from an incredible distance. The gravitational clues were undeniable, but the source was still a ghost in the machine. A storm was brewing at the edge of the solar system, and astronomers were about to offer up a radical explanation. The Planet Nine hypothesis, an invisible giant. Then in 2016, two Caltech astronomers, Constantine Batigian and Mike Brown, dropped a bombshell on the scientific community. They proposed that the Invisible Shepherd was a real massive planet. World may be five to ten times the mass of Earth lurking in an orbit. So vast it could take over 10,000 years to go around the sun just once. They called it Planet Nine. The theory was elegant and powerful. A planet of that size, orbiting hundreds of times farther from the sun than we are, would have just the right gravitational pull to explain the strange clustering of all those distant objects. It was the missing piece of the puzzle. It would be a true giant hiding in plain sight, shrouded in darkness. And just like that, the hunt was on. Telescopes across the globe started scanning the skies and running complex simulations to narrow down the search. This wasn't just a wild guess. It was a solid prediction based on the gravitational ripples this hidden world was leaving behind. Finding it would be a triumph, a moment just like the discovery of Neptune back in the 19th century, which was also found because of its gravitational tug on another planet. For years, every new discovery of a clustered object seemed to make the case stronger. And it felt like we were on the verge of finally meeting our solar system's new member, the twist. A cosmic fossil named Ammonite. And then everything got complicated. In 2023, astronomers using the powerful Subaru telescope in Hawaii as part of a project fittingly called Fossil the Formation of the Outer Solar System. An icy legacy spotted something new. After a year of follow-up to confirm its path, they announced the discovery of 2023. They nicknamed it Ammonite because 
like the spiral fossils here on Earth. This object is a pristine relic from the dawn of our solar system. Like the other strange bodies, ammonite is what's known as a sednoid, and it's only the fourth one ever found. This means its orbit is incredibly distant and stretched out. It never gets closer to the sun than about 66 times the distance from the Earth to the sun, putting it far beyond Neptune's influence. Some simulations suggest its orbit has been stable for 4.5 billion years, making it a true fossil that holds secrets to our solar system's chaotic childhood. But here's the critical twist. While Ammonite shares the weirdness of its fellow sednoids, it breaks the most important rule. Its orbit isn't clustered with the others. It points in a completely different direction. It's a rebel. It's the one tree in the forest that isn't leaning with all the others. And by doing that, it has thrown the biggest wrench imaginable into the gears of the Planet Nine hypothesis. The unraveling, what Ammonite's orbit means, the whole foundation of the Planet Nine hypothesis is built on that orbital clustering. The argument was that you needed a massive planet to explain why all those distant objects were marching to the same gravitational beat. But Ammonite isn't marching with them. Its orbit just doesn't fit. According to study co-author Yukun Hung, the fact that Ammonite's orbit is so different lowers the likelihood of the Planet Nine hypothesis. It weakens the very evidence that kickstarted the whole hunt. Some simulations even suggest that if Planet Nine existed right where it's predicted to be, it probably would have kicked an object like Ammonite out of the solar system entirely. This forces us to ask some tough questions. Was the clustering just a fluke? All along a statistical trick of the light from our limited view of this dark realm? Some astronomers have been arguing that for years. Oh. If a giant planet is out there, could it be way farther out than we thought, making its pull more subtle and our chances of finding it even slimmer? Another fascinating possibility put forward by the Discovery Team. Is that a planet once existed in our solar system but got violently ejected billions of years ago? In that scenario, it could have scattered objects like Ammonite and the others into their strange orbits on its way out, leaving behind a kind of gravitational ghost story. We might be seeing the orbital echoes of a planet that isn't even there anymore. The mystery of the outer solar system hasn't been solved. It's just gotten way deeper and more complex. The future of the hunt, a new chapter begins. So, is the hunt for Planet Nine over? Not by a long shot. The discovery of Ammonite hasn't killed the theory, but it has forced it to evolve. It puts new limits on where Planet Nine could be and what it might be like. But the truth is, our map of the outer solar system is still mostly blank space. Finding these objects is incredibly hard. They're just faint, slow-moving dots of light in a huge, dark sky. But the game changer might be just around the corner. The Veracy Rubin Observatory in Chile is set to begin its decade-long survey of the sky in 2025. With the world's largest digital camera, it will map the southern sky with incredible depth and speed turning over more cosmic rocks than ever before. Astronomers on all sides of this debate agree. If a planet not, as we've imagined it, is really out there, the Rubin Observatory is our best shot at finally spotting it. It could finally give us a definitive answer either. A picture of a new planet or the data that sends us back to the drawing board for good. We are living in a truly remarkable era of discovery. An object nicknamed for a fossil has breathed new life into the story of our solar system as origins. It's a powerful reminder that our own cosmic backyard is still full of surprises and that some of the greatest mysteries are still out there, just waiting to be solved. So what do you think? Does Planet Nine exist? Or does Ammonite point to a totally different, more chaotic history for our solar system? Let us know your theories down in the comments. And if you want to stay on the front lines of cosmic discovery, make sure to subscribe. And hit that notification bell for more on the hunt for our solar system as hidden worlds. We started with a simple map, a mystery of clustered orbits, and a neat solution. 
a hidden planet. But the discovery of Ammonite has torn a hole right through that map. It has shown us that the outer solar system is more diverse and its history more chaotic than we ever imagined. The simple story has become a complex epic. Whether a ninth planet is waiting to be found or the answer lies with rogue worlds or ancient galactic tides, one thing is certain. The adventure is far from over.